So now let's see the text editing options inside of Canva. To access the text editing options, first of all, I'm going to bring in a text. And over here, you can see that there are three types of fonts right over here, like heading, subheading, and body. There's no difference in any of these, but except its size. So I can choose any one I want. So I'm just going to work around with the heading. So I got a large text to work with. So as I work with the heading, you can see that I can select the text right over here and replace it with anything I want. So I'm going to say Udemy Canva lesson right over here, just like this. As I do this, you can see right here that I can select out the font and then I can choose the font of my choice from right over here. So I can go over here and then choose any font that are present over here. The one with the crowns are the pro cam, uh, the pro fonts. So you are only able to use it if you have Canva Pro. The ones without are the free fonts right over there. So I'm going to choose this one right over here and then it'll apply the font over here as you can see. So it looks interesting as you can see right over here. So now as you select the font over here on the right hand side after you chose the font right over here, you can see that there's font option over here as well. That is the font size option. So you can choose the font size. You can make it small or make it large. So if you are to make it small, then it becomes something like a body text. But if you make it large, it becomes something like a heading. So that is what I was talking about when we discuss about this. The only difference is the size in between these three options right over here as well. And as you work around with this, you can select out the text right over here and change the color of the text as well. So I'm just selecting Udemy as you can see. And now as I choose red, you can see that that has been changed into red just like that. I can select it out and there's no bold or italics function for this one, but that's underlined. So depending on the font, the bold or italics may be available or not. So I can go over here and let me just change it into something simple over here. So let me just change it into something like this one right over here. You can see that this is for the pro feature only. So let me just choose this one over here. This is the free font as you can see right here. So for this one, you can see that the bold and italics is available just like that. So after that, you have other options as well, like for example, for alignment and for capitalization right over here. So let's see the example for that as well. So I'm going to say this is a sentence right over here and I'm going to copy paste this out right over here. I'm going to select it out by pressing Control A and I'm just going to bring down the font size over here just like this. So you can see that I have these sentences right over here. So I can bring this down even further. So I'm just going to select this out and then over here I'm just going to select 12. So you can see that right now everything is center aligned, but as I select this, you can actually go over here and then click on this to left um, align this as you can see. So everything moves on to the left once you click on this. Click on it again and it's justified. So it balances out everything in from left to right as you can see. I can click around again and it goes to the right. So center, left, justify. So accordingly, you can choose how much uh, you want to, uh, how you want the text to be arranged. You also have the uppercase option right here. So once you click on it, everything changes into uppercase. And once you click on it again, then it changes into lowercase. But the ones which are already uppercase, they won't be affected. The other option you have is the, uh, the list format. So once you click on it, you can see that they change into list. So I can go over here, press enter, press enter here again, and they change into a dotted list. I can click over here again and it changes into number as you can see. So let me just click over the entire box, click on it again, and you can see that now they change into number. And as I click on it again, the dots have removed. So I'm going to click on it. You see the dots, you see the numbers and click again. And now it changes back just like that. And after that, the final option you have is the spacing for the lining. So you can click on this and it can change the spacing of the letter as you can see. So you can make them close together or increase it out over here as well. You can also see the line height over here. So you can increase the line height just like this or decrease the line height. And these are the text editing options you have inside of Canva to display the text as you like it.